Hello. So in this problem, we have a situation. Um, Alan and Beth are traveling from driving from um, from Los Angeles to San Francisco. So we want to know we're gonna we are given some data, some information, and we want to know who gets to San Francisco first, and how long does the first one to arrive um, have to wait for the second. So Alan, leaves LA at 8 a.m. Drives 400 miles north to San Francisco. And throughout this, uh, this trip is driving at a speed of 15 miles per hour. So this is typically, you know, how we write miles per hour, but to make things a little easier with the algebra, we're gonna write miles per hour. And we have the same information about Beth. So she leaves LA at 9 a.m., drives the same distance to San Francisco. And, but she's going a little bit faster. Her velocity, her speed is um, 60 miles per hour. Okay, so the first thing that we have to determine is at what time they are going to arrive to San Francisco. Reminds me of a song. Anyways, so we know that velocity is the change in position, so the displacement divided by the change in time. We assume that you know they start at t equals zero. Then we can add the eight in the morning. They start at um, t equals zero, and then the displacement is the four hundred miles. So four hundred miles divided by uh, fifty miles per hour. This is gonna be uh, eight miles uh, divided by miles per hour. So the miles go away, the hours moves to the top and we get eight hours. That means that Alan's gonna leave here, uh, he left at 9 a.m. So he's gonna get to San Francisco. It's there at 4 p.m. Right, so 8 a.m. times eight hours, that's 4 p.m. For Beth, we do the same thing. Right, so the velocity, mm, oh, sorry, this is not going to be, this is going to be time. Velocity is delta x over delta time. Uh, we know the velocity, we want to get the time. So we can move the velocity over here and the time over here which is what I did over here, but I guess I didn't, um, didn't explain it well. Okay, so the delta x, the displacement from LA to San Francisco is the same. 
So 400 miles. It should be 500 miles, right? Then we could sing that other song. Well, anyways. And the velocity or the speed is 60 miles per hour. So here we know that the units are hours. And it's gonna be 40 divided by six. That's six point six and two thirds, right? Six times six, 36. So there's four left and that is equal to two thirds of six. So six and two thirds hours. So she's gonna get there. Uh, she left at nine times six hours, that's three. And 40 minutes, that's 3.40 p.m. So the first question is, who gets there first? And the answer is Beth, she gets there at 3.40. Beth, Beth gets to LA, uh, sorry, San Francisco uh, first. And how long does she have to wait for uh, Alan? Beth waits 20 minutes. So from 3.40 to 4 p.m. 20 minutes for Alan. And that's it. So pretty straightforward application of just the, the definition of the velocity, right? Velocity equals change in displacement divided by change in time. We were given velocity and distance, so we just solved for the time, and that's all we had to do. All right, hope you um, like the problem.